What's up everybody? Well, I got another gameplay video for you guys today, this time on the TV PC, which is a 5800X3 and a 4090 that I kind of had just lying around. So we're going to hop in here and see how this one does, see how many stutters it has and how many FPS it can get. This one's a 4K 144Hz screen, so I don't think we're going to get anywhere near that, but hey, anything's possible. So why don't we now go ahead and go hop ourselves into the game, look at the settings, and then we'll get ourselves a little gameplay, which is going to be all camera recorded this time, just because I had a lot of lame things happen and it made me have like no time to get these videos done other than have no time to have any fun with anything else today which i don't want to do so let us now get into the game all right here's the settings we're gonna run oh. there we go had to connect my controller again all right That's not upscaling, that's just DLLA. I think that replaces the uh, Anna A that I say in the game. I put that down to low, like I had it on everything else. I knew I would forget something somewhere along the way. Apply. And then we got that at 120, that at 90. No motion blur of any kind, a little tiny bit of film grain. And with that, let's go get ourselves into the game. All right, let's get ourselves some gameplay here. Y'all make this look fun. Word came down. We are green to go. So gear up, grab your shoots. We're going to the war zone. We're cleared hot on all threats. Watch your ass down there. Let's get this done. Targets in the AO. Alright, well, let's see how it does here with stutter and all that stuff. 
so far it's been very good in the frame time department. Funny enough, the best out of everything. But we'll see if it stays that way. If it has any giant stutters, or even little stutters like 1300K I've had. So it's not getting as much FPS. But the frame times sure are more consistent so far. We'll see if it stays that way though. That's always subject to change. Sniper rifle, I will absolutely die if anyone comes here around me because I can't aim worth the crap right now. Not with a controller anyway, and I'm not even that great with a keyboard and mouse. Nah, I'd rather have a heartbeat sensor. Not that I'm actually going to make any use of it, but we're just pretending like this is a real match. I'm not really trying to kill anybody or anything right now. I just mainly care about frame times and FPS and all that stuff. something go in my eye for a second there. It was probably just a little bit of a sleepy eye I didn't wipe off in the morning. A loadout. You got a loadout drop inbound. Oh, that's... I could get that, but I've, every time in any game I ever go for a loadout, I die instantly. So it just made me never want to go Gas is closing in. Relocating the safe zone. If someone can, like, watch which the other people get, but when you're all by yourself, it's not that easy. Like. So far, I mean, I haven't been watching it the whole time, but so far I haven't seen any giant lab spikes at all. This has definitely been the smoothest. Alright, well, there's a guy over there. If I go that way, he will surely get me. He probably already saw me. I'll go over here instead. Still might die, but you never know. If 
But in any case, I think that's plenty of gameplay. So why don't we go wrap this video on up? Well, all right, guys, that's a wrap for Call of Duty on this TV PC. And surprisingly enough, while it didn't get the highest FPS, it actually got the smoothest frame times out of anything. So that's cool. Don't know why or any reasoning behind it, but it's cool. So funny enough, I'm, if I wanted complete smoothness, I'd play on that. But it's not like the main computer did that bad. So not that not that big of a deal. I'll just I'll just keep playing on that because I'd rather play with keyboard and mouse and have like a stutter every now and again than play with a freaking controller or play with, try to play with something like this. That would not go well. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video because I sure as hell enjoyed making it for you guys. And until the next video, peace out, guys.